Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Developer. Uh, today we are going to start a playlist uh, where we will develop a Flutter application which will be connected with the SQL database using the web API uh, which will be developed in ASP.NET MVC. In the mobile application we will just create two screens one for sign up and one login. With the time we will add more functionality to our application. Now let's define what our sign up screen will contain. So the sign up screen will contain full name of the user, email, mobile number and password and confirm password also. For the login user must need to enter email or mobile number and password he need to enter first of all we need to create the user table and as i mentioned that we will use the sql database so you should install the sql database and you should have the sql uh, server management studio so first of all you need to connect with your database and after that you should go to the database folders and you just need to expand the databases and then you need to right click on the databases and then you need to click on new database so here we will just give it name flutter demo so it will create a database for us now we need to expand the flutter demo and you will able to see all these folders but now we will just work around on the tables so you need to click on the table right click and then click new table so first of all we need to define the primary key every table should have a primary key which is a unique key so we will just give it a name id and the type should be integer because we will not have too much user if you have too much user then you can define begin okay so for us int is enough and it will be not null so we will remove this check and then we need to make it a primary key of this table so you need to right click and set it a primary key and you just need to go here and here will be identity specification you just need to double click on uh, it so it will become yes so it will be automatically increased by one when the new uh, entries will come to this table and then we just need to copy our column names so we need to give it name and remember one thing no need to give a space otherwise it will add this bracket to your table to your column name so we just need to remove it and we will name it like this and it will be a watcher watcher means like we will not save the special characters okay or it, I think it's fine to give it a watcher because we can also save name in other languages Turkish Urdu or any other language and it will be not none then we need to have an email column so I will give it a name email and it will be a watcher and it will be not more than 50 characters so both should not be none now another column name is mobile number so mobile number will be also we need to remove the space and it will also be a 50 character 50 character is enough to save any kind of mobile number in SQL database then we need to have a password only not the confirm password so watch your 50 so our user table is ready now we just need to save the table name so we will just save it with the name users so once you save it you need to just right click on the tables and click on refresh and you need to expand it and you will able to see the user table and you can see the design of this user table for the time being I will add some data so we can use it in login so you just need to right click on it and you just need to say edit top 20 rows and I will give it a name budget email to wajid at the rate gmail.com 
mobile number plus nine two three four seven nine double one seven five double one password one two three four five six seven eight so the first record inserted to into our table now we want to add a unique constraint on email and mobile number so nobody should be able to enter the duplicate email address and mobile or email column so for that we need to right click on the user table and go to design just right click here and go to index slash keys then you need to click on add button that will create this uh, for you and you just need to rename it from ix underscore user to underscore emails slash unique and then you need to change the type from index to unique key and also we need to change the column to email then we need to add another for constraint for the mobile number so we need to click on it first we need to change the column to mobile number and then we need to change the type to index and here we will rename it to mobile number unique and then we need to close our window and we need to save it in the next tutorial i will show you how to create the web apis and then we will connect that web apis to sql database and we will also implement the swagger ui so we can test our api before we start our mobile application